the alters that you've got either alcohol or the natural cars, you know. Uh, both of them run well. Uh, the natural cars make more power, basically. Uh, maybe not quite as consistent, uh, but comparing it over to the Pro Mods, they, uh, they're all alcohol. They do have a better supercharger on them, and they make a lot of power on alcohol. Uh, well, I'd say comparable to some of the nitro cars. Is fuel alter tougher to drive than a Pro Modified car? I don't know, there's never been anyone. They're probably about the same, those suspended cars or the force power they put out, so they're probably both in their own respectful way. Is, is both of them could be a handful. Uh, most drag racers wonder how fast their next pass is going to be. Fuel altered racers wonder where their next pass is going to go. They're certainly not as forgiving if you need to pedal the car and so forth. Uh, so I think in that regard, they're a bigger handful if it, a little something goes wrong. The visibility of the motor sticks up so high on the Pro Mod car, I like being able to look over the top of the motor and see much better. And that's probably. That's probably the number one question I get after Are You Crazy is, how do you see? And, you know, I always tell them I don't. I just, I just point right down that track and hope everything goes, goes well. Year. Oh, obviously an altered. I hope it's me. Well, Pro Mods, of course. A black 63 Corvette is the one that we're shooting for. Uh, if we get in, we are. But if we don't, Terry Bryan. I, I, I put my money on Terry Bryan. Well, we'd like to think we have a have a say in that. But uh, hey, it's anybody's game. There's, I know there's some hitters out here, and there's some of our guys that can hit hard too. So you can't count anybody out. There's a lot of good, a lot of good buggies out there. So uh, I don't know which one of them is going to be there, but. I plan on being there for the Pro Mod side. Yeah, there's a lot of Pro Mods up near the front, but still there's a fuel altered right at the front. So they're going to have to overcome that. So I, I, I'll lean toward the alters again. These cars run like scalded dogs. They will be side by side heading down this uh, race course here at North Star Dragway. The idea, get there first. Second round, there will be 12 cars left. The two quickest winners will come back for the final. That's called a Chicago style format. Six pair in the second round, and then one final. Pop in the tank, put the tickle in your ear every time. Donnie Massey, Little Elm, Texas. The showtime. Pro Mod versus Fuel Altered Showdown. They're in the pre stage position, moving up to get ready to go. Flash of Ember. It's a red light start. So Fuel Altered takes the win. Candles lit all the way through. 390 with a yeah, seam paper. That you'd say that the uh, Fuel Alters are going to get another one here. However, we don't run on paper. We got three bulbs lit. The Nitro car. Kansas in the second position. On both sides, the candle lit and the fuel altered takes the win. 383 to 414. Terry Bryant with another Bolson in the free stage position. Doucette follows suit. Just a few more inches and we're racing. Here we go. Three lines on both sides. The first three side by side. The next track. Candles lit all the way down. 3.92 seconds at 100. 96 big honking miles an hour. He's on the spectator side. Look at that. 385 to a 388. What a match. It was a whole You're stop. pulling for Wiley. Fuel alternate fans. You're pulling for Jones. The revs come up. We're going racing. It is and a wind light for Steve Wiley. Bobby Marriott, the shockwave. 426 cubic inches of unnaturally aspirated Keith Black Hemi. Give it to the fuel altered 401, 178.71 miles an hour. Four 
50. Your I bracket think. car like numbers, 383. Are we stepping on it for the final? Or we just uh, uh, continue on through. Nah, we're gonna step on it. That's what we do, right? We should we should run a little bit better at the track there. We were spending a little bit on that last pass on the big side when I got it in high gear, so it should perform a little better this next time. Well, the Pro Mod contingent, uh, 385, 204. Definitely, this is going to be a good final. No real clear cut uh, uh, favorite. Uh, how was that run, and, and how do you feel about your chances going to the final? Man, that run was smooth. It felt good. We stepped on it a little bit. We figured it was going to run anywhere between an 80 and 85. It did win an 85 on, on, the, on the higher end of what we wanted to go. We got enough room to step on it. The track's there. We just got to get our setup figured out for what the track wants and uh, hope we can uh, beat this old alter in the finals. That's for He went like, what, four, three eighty. So maybe we can knock him off the chopping block. This should be an epic matchup. Brandon Lewis. Running for Team ProMod, it's going to be on the tower side. It's been evenly matched all night long. ProMods, fuel alters, squaring off match after match, getting even numbers of wins right up until the last round. The fuel alters actually have two more tallies on their side of the ledger than do the ProMods. This for all the marbles looks like it's going to be a single for Brandon Lewis. I don't know. It looks like it sounds like a Central car has gone silent. Brandon Lewis launches, gets out of shape. 492, 101.53 miles per hour. Not the final we were looking for. Yeah, how's it feel to get the first Pro Mod win in this race? Oh, it feels great, but Brandon deserved it for a long time. Man, I don't think that was a lucky break. We, we had it set on kill. I mean, it went around, it moved out there a little bit, and I think if uh, I could have drove it, it would have drove around him on the big end. We had enough power put in it. It, it, it planted hard enough down low, and, and if I could have got after it on the finish line, she would have ran a good number, that's for sure. Uh, you've ran a couple different series, uh, you know, HRA Big Show and A Fuel. How does this stack up, this win? Oh, man, this is this is above that. This this is, I mean, there's nothing better than having your, your racetrack family, your home family, and, and that right here. It, it's it's awesome. Especially running against the Fuel Altry guys. It's kind of one of those huge uh, burdens off your back. You get to say the first Pro Mod that won the uh, the one the Pro Mod first is Fuel Altry shootout. So I'll take it. I'll take it anyway, even if it was a single in the final. This is just... Uh unbelievable in three years to grow it to what it's turned into and and it's great to see the pro mod guys getting on board with it they're they're just like us they're just a bunch of good guys that want to go race and have fun and it's just an awesome deal the promotion leading up to this has been really good the, the pro mods are really stepping up every single year the the car count gets bigger and bigger it's always good to have good competition the faster we are the faster we are so it makes it sound better when we kick our butt I think it's awesome. It really is. Like I said, uh, that nitro burning car there next to a pro mod car uh, is shaking the ground around you. you it just don't get no better. <laughs>